Well, that's great. And they seem quite relaxed with us on foot. That's very, very nice. I can hear the buttoned quail calling in the grass close to the zebra. That, ooh, ooh. Very interesting sound from that buttoned quail. Small little bird that makes such a loud noise. But you see, these zebra are doing what I wish I could do. See how their tails are flicking about backwards and forwards and they are doing that to chase the flies off of themselves. And I wish I had a tail at the moment to keep these flies off of me because they are everywhere. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Come on, follow me. They seem to be very relaxed with us. They definitely know we are. But I'm speaking at a level that they can hear us and they can see us. Oh, this is great. I honestly think this is one of the close, closest I've ever got to, or closest uh, situations I've ever got to zebra. Have a look at it. Now it's out in the open. Let's see if we stop, they might just stand and carry on feeding. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> this is very, very nice. Ah, flies. <laughs> See those tails, they don't stop. There are a lot of flies around those zebra. Sammy, I, you mentioned, you're asking about the injured zebra. Now, I'm not sure, there were, there were two injured zebra and there was one that we saw, I think they saw about a week, week and a half ago on quarantine. Um, that was very badly injured. And um, and then there was another one found on Arethusa, I think, that were also very badly injured. Neither of them have been seen again. Um, now I'm not, I mean, I, I don't know if, uh, if they're still alive. Apparently the one on quarantine was, was very badly injured. But, you know, that's, that's nature. We need to remember that. It's, um, you know, survival of the fittest. It's not always easy to see. But, uh, but... Lions occasionally injure animals, they, they aren't able to, to kill them and those animals will probably die a few days later. Um, and it's, it is survival of the fittest out here, as I say, I know it's not always easy to see, um, but, but that is nature's way of maintaining a balance and some animals will benefit from that, uh, from that meal, even if it wasn't the lions, but there'd be hyena, there'd possibly be leopard that scavenge off big kills like that. Um, so other predators, the jackal, other predators would definitely benefit from it. Nothing goes to waste out here. 